Since the start of the premium trading signals group, we have had over 11 winning trades and over a 70% win rate. So if you want to join this group and learn more about trading crypto, make sure to check out the links down in the pinned comment for both the Telegram and the Discord group where you can find more information on how to join the signals group. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and I uh, hope you're all doing, doing great. Hope you had a great weekend. And uh, welcome back to this uh, new video and update on uh, GRT and the graph. I felt like it, it was needed. We had an amazing trade, um, which I also gave in my last video on uh, on, on GRT, uh, which we'll talk about. But just in general, we're actually at a at a, at a crucial moment, I would say, for, uh, for for the price of GRT. So what's going to happen in the next 24 hours when hopefully the the volatility and the volume picks back up a little bit after the weekend? Um, what's going to happen in that time is going to be pretty uh, pretty important. So I wanted to talk about that. So let's get uh, let's get right into it. Um, and if you're interested in these uh, updates on the graph and GRT, I do them quite regularly, like every other day. Sometimes I do them daily. Um, so uh, make sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. But for now, as you can see, we're we're fairly bullish. We're doing we're, we're, we're doing nicely. Volume has gone up quite a bit, which is good. It's coming from credible sources mostly. Uh, so the graph on its own, I mean, it's an amazing project. It's doing fine. In terms of the price, though, um, what we said last time is that we, we had quite a major bearish breakout through 15 and a half cents right here, which had been our main support, at least that area, uh, for quite a long time. Um, so we so we broke through that. So what I said in the last video is that, all right, well, I think we'll drop down to this level right here around 14 cents, which houses the 618 FIP and the 200 EMA. It's a major resistance level or a major support level, excuse me. And from there, we'll start to go up uh, again, at least to 15 cents, probably even down up to 15 and a half cents. And we did that. And we even were a little bit more bullish than what I expected at that point of time. Now, don't mind me, but at that point of time, Bitcoin was very, very bearish. So I expected us to drop down a little bit more. Uh, but in the end, we managed to break above 15 and a half cents, uh, which brings us in a, a nice position, I guess, but it's not as nice as it could be. It's this level right here between 16 cents and 15 and a half cents kind of in the middle of being bullish and being bearish, right? Because what we would want to do is break above 16 cents. If we can do that, then we'll probably find resistance at 16 and a half cents, but then at least we're back into this area between 17 and a half cents and 16 and a half cents. And that's what we want um, because that's obvious. It's not necessarily bullish, but it's, it's not bearish, right? And that's always better. Um, but on the other hand, what could also still happen is that we break down below 15 and a half cents again. So find resistance at 16 cents and continue dropping back down towards that 50, 14, 14 and a half cents level. Also realistic. So we have to take a look at some things and we have to talk about some things in order for us to understand what's most likely to happen. And right now, as you can see, this trend line, even though I do not like it completely, you can see that we, we did discard that. We did break above that again with this candle. So that's actually a bullish confirmation. Apart from that, I would argue that the whole AI narrative is still more bullish than bearish as well. And then you want, the only thing you have left is the market. All right, I think the market will be fairly stable, if not a little bit bearish. Uh, but I don't think that that's going to be um, too much of an obstacle for, for GRT. So right now, I'd say the most likely scenario is, if you add everything up, that we will break above 16 and a half cents and that we will slowly, as long as the market remains at least stable, so as long as like Bitcoin doesn't drop down to 22,500, I think we'll slowly move back up to 17 and a half cents. But that could go very slowly. We could consolidate between 16 and a half and 16 cents for, for quite a couple of days. Uh, but th th at this point of time, this does look like the most likely scenario. Now, if at some point you realize that we've fallen below 15 and a half cents again, then consider that I was wrong <laughs> because then we will continue to dro drop back down again. That's a major bearish confirmation. Uh, but as I said, for now, this seems like the most likely scenario. So if you do have any questions about GRT or anything you want to ask, let me know. But for now, uh, take care, enjoy your day and bye.